With the new 2025.1.1 version of Twinmotion, it is now possible to view and explore any project online. Most importantly, you can also interact with it by activating preset configurators to change materials, turn lights on and off, view design variations, and much more. Before analyzing how to manage all these in the cloud, there are other updates related to configurators that are worth analyzing. A new configurator based on transformations has been added. Simply put, it allows you to modify the position, size, or rotation of any configured object. Create the configurator, modify any object, and add a new state. The settings are exactly the same as for the other configurator. If you need more details, you'll find the link to the full video tutorial in the description, where I explain step by step how to adjust configurator settings. Another new feature concerns triggers. You can now activate any type of configurator by clicking on an object in the scene. Unlike other types, no button appears in the interface. The trigger is activated simply by clicking the designed object. This is especially useful for turning project lights on or off in a very intuitive way. Moving on, thumbnails can be automatically captured when creating new states. Create a new configurator, click on the three dots at the bottom of the interface Face, and then select Add State, Auto Capture On. From now on, every time you create a new state, the thumbnail will be a screenshot of what is currently visible in the viewport. Of course, you can modify it in any time if needed. Furthermore, the resolution of thumbnails for states can be increased in the Preferences panel, allowing for higher quality visuals, especially when using triggers with the list option. Another important addition is the possibility of using SVG files for triggers and state thumbnails. Finally, exporting configurators to the cloud is extremely simple. After setting up all your configurators, create a new presentation. I recommend adding at least one image per environment to create checkpoints during the presentation. Before exporting, open the properties of the presentation. Under option, you can decide whether navigation will be free, panoramic or locked. But more importantly, you must enable the configurations option. Otherwise, the presentation will not include any configurators. At this point, you have two export options. Local export, which allows you to explore your Twinmotion project on a PC without needing an internet connection. Cloud export, available only with a Twinmotion commercial license. For more information, please refer to the official Twinmotion website. Once the project is exported, you can access your Twinmotion cloud and share your work either via a link or a QR code. Scan the QR code displayed on the screen or click the link in the description to view the project shown in this video directly on your smartphone and have fun activating all the configurators. Let me know in the comments which of these new features excites you most and what of their functionalities you would like to see in future versions. That said, I wish you a good day or evening and see you very very soon. Ciao!